hello everyone welcome to android hacking series so i'm super excited to meet you all with another interesting chapter 3 hacking android via link so i have if you guys didn't check to my previous chapter 2 hacking android with the rat i would request to go and please check it so link uh, you can find the link in the description and uh, now we will be going and seeing android hacking via link in this chapter disclaimer this video is purely for education and information purpose i don't encourage any malicious or harmful activity i'm not responsible for any misuse or damage resulting from the information shared in this video you are solely responsible for your action and we will use this knowledge responsibly and ethically Please note that unauthorization hacking or accessing other system or network is strictly prohibited and illegal, even if this video demonstrated ethical hacking practice in my lab environment. So in this exam chapter, so as I said earlier, the, in this chapter 3, we are going to hack an Android via link. So for this, the requirement, first of all, we will see what is the requirement. So the requirement is simple. First of all, uh, we need a cloud based solution. So in this chapter, I'm just taking a AWS. So all you just need to log in with the AWS in the free account and uh, create a Ubuntu free account to machine from that. So just create a Ubuntu machine, Linux machine we have to need it and please enable the SSH so that we have to take the SSH service. Once this is a step number one. So once we are done with this installation, so now we are going to install Beef. So Beef is nothing but uh, browser based exploit I have made a complete tutorial on this one so please find it uh, this uh, this is the tutorial uh, so if you are really interested in what is the beef to understand and more understand about it I have made a complete tutorial on this one feel free to go and check it this one so we are going to install the beef uh, in the Ubuntu one so and step number three we are have to create a security policies basically this is the net firewall policies uh, so that we are allowing the beef to work functional as it is possible without any issues over there then once the installation is done then everything is done the third step is we are going to uh, create a link and uh, we will be giving to this to the victim once the victim is actually open uh, we will be getting the we will be just basically hacking the android device so this is the steps we are going to and we are going to see in this video so it's very simple so once the victim uh, basically once the victim click the link it will be connected to the beef and we will see what and all we can be done without further delay let's jump into the video <laughs> So as I said earlier, I have created a Ubuntu instant and uh, just as a freeware. So I'm, I'm just using a free trier one so that you can, uh, it's up to your choice. If you already have a, a paid uh, subscriptions in AWS, you can do it. Or if you want to do it in any other uh, a, like Azure or Linode or whatever, you can do it. In case if you want to try uh, instead of using an AWS solution and you want to try it in a Kali in localhost, you can use any port forwarding methodologies like ngRaw or port map io or any port map technologies you can port forwarding technologies you can use it over there okay so but but make it very simple for the i i made it in the concept like for a beginners so beginners always easier for it if you are advanced uh, ethical hacker feel free to do it that way which i have said using a port forwarding but if you are beginner so this methodology will be very simple and it will simplify your things over there so i have a created a, a azure a AW, sorry uh, in aws i have created an instance which is running and uh, this is the security policies groups you have to create it over there so the four rules you have to create it first one rule you have to create a custom rule is ssh for 24 port and the source can be anywhere and uh, you have to give a one more custom port tcp which is in a 3000 ip address this is basically for the beef portal so the beef portal will open on a 3000 only and one more thing is you have to create it uh, again http and https uh, 80 and 443 and it should be accessed so that is why when the link is clicked anywhere in the world it will be get uh, the link when the connections will be established back to the beef over there 
so the creating the rule is very simple so only thing is you have to go to security tab and click the security group this page we will be landing on here edit the inbound rule and start adding the rules and just save it okay uh, if you are not added this rule the beef will not work over the internet so then you will not uh, able to access it over there so now i'll tell you how to uh, take a remote of it so once all you're done with this just go uh, i have already created a, a security keys in aws uh, so feel free to create a one uh, so let me go to the connect tab and uh, ssh client i'll just copy this complete one and let me open a terminal and let me paste those things and so since it is the first time it is asking for s so i have to click s uh, for the fingerprint it is basically set, set sharing exchanging the information over there okay so now i have successfully uh, logged in the, the one let me clear it so that it will be more visible okay so first step you have to update your uh, linux that is the first step you have to do it because uh, all the reports that should be up to date then only anything needed for this uh, be for anything else is always there so i see that there is a little packages are there so let me quickly go and upgrade it okay so i have updated everything now it is ready good so now what you need to do is you have to go to this beef project uh, this is the beef project which is available in the github i'll be giving the link in the description so you no need to worry about it so i uh, let me clone this project and you have to go to the terminal so ensure you are already installed the git command so sudo apt install git and ensure uh, so in my case already git is installed if it not happen you just run this command and uh, it will help you to install the git then you can run sudo git clone and followed by you can click the link so i have already cloned the directory uh, so that is why it says it's already the directories exist uh, in your case it will be downloading over there once it is done do a ls and uh, go to the directory and L do a ls so now what you need to do is you have to give a full permission to install this script so to do that sudo cmoj mode plus x and install this is a script you have to do it i have already done that is why you are seeing this in a different color green color then once it is done you have to run this command sudo backslash install so basically what this will do this will install the uh, beef in the uh, aws ubuntu machines so once this is done then simply you can launch the beef command by using same thing just starting beef okay so this basically now this is the command to start the beef service so if you see that it is the beef service is actually starting uh, so might be one thing you have to do is uh, if suppose it is it comes with a default to password so you have to change the default password otherwise will not uh, over means i will not start the service in case if you want to change the password uh, you have to uh, the the simple is uh, you have to go to this direct this location so i have executed so you have to go to sudo so if you see that this same path uh, there is a configuration this file is there right you have to update this one so sudo nano and config this is the file you have to click and uh, you have to you have to go and if you see that the passwords will be the default will there you have to change this password okay so uh, it will be like beef and beef you can update any the password here it will be looks in a plain test since the demo i'm just using a simple super simple use password so let me once it is done you have to save it control o save it control x then it is done okay so now then you have you can go back and launch the beef so that just remember the what the password you have given that is the you you have to use the same password to log in into beef portal otherwise you will not log in so just make sure you are there in case if you reset I means forgot your password you can come to this uh, config.yaml file and you can uh, change the passwords and then you can start the service this is what so now if you see that the beef service is actually started to stop the service you just need to give a control c this is work so now beef is working successfully so now i'll show how to access this one so uh, just copy this url copy and just paste it 
uh, only thing is we have to replace this ip address this is something an internal ip address so we have to go to the public dns uh, copy this one so this is where publicly you can access it that is the beauty of aws accessing over there so you don't need to do any port forwarding easily it's all that only thing is you need to ensure you are uh, in the firewall rule you have allowed it over there this port number so now you can replace this ip address uh, with the domain name so this is the complete port give a enter this will redirect you to the beef administration login portal so now i have successfully in the beef portal so now what you need to do is you need to give a username so username is in my case is beef and the password which is the password which i have updated in the sheets over there so whatever the password you updated in that uh, configuration file you have to give the same thing and click login so successfully we have logged into the beef portal uh, so these are the browsers we suppose those when the user has clicked and just disappeared it does this uh, you can see it in the offline if they basically if it is not connecting back you can see it in online and if suppose something is in the online you will be seeing in online so that you can make it interactive over there so uh, you can eject a script so if you see that there is a hook script is there so you can so to hook up we have to create a web page so basically you can use any web page or you can create your own web page so like a convincing way then you have to insert a one script command call this is a script you have to read you have to do so script underscore with they have to you have to replace this ip address with the amazon uh, i public ip address or public dns entries and you have to close the scripts over there so syntax is very simple i'll be giving the syntax in the uh, command you can see this is the syntax of it so please ensure you follow the syntax uh, you can use any other website but you just ensure this script is attached in that website otherwise the browser hooking will not happen and you cannot enable the connections back over there okay so let me go back uh, so in this case in this demonstration to make it this demonstration very simple i'm just going to use the same demo page which is already comes with here so i'm not going to uh, do anything over there so let me copy this so i have a copied this so now what i need to do is uh, let me open an android so let me open a firefox or in this my case i'm just opening a chrome browser and all i just need to do is i need to do uh, paste this url or i can do one more thing is make it very simple the steps one more thing is i can use a if i giving this link in a complete manner so it will be difficult for it so i'm just going to use a one more tool called tiny url so this is basically url shortening uh, so here i'm just going uh, just modify the long url into a small url so tiny now alias i'm just giving something like uh, uh, whatever you wanted you can give it as it is so this is a link i have made it so i just made it as a ah link demo so whatever it is available i just you can do it over there so it's very simple so now let's go back to the android device and uh, let's start typing the uh, url uh, so here i just need to click a new tab and http or i can send it so this url you can send it as a uh, email or you can see using a social engineering engineering attack you can do it convince the user you can do it over there or you can send it as a sms spoofing sms uh, whatever the way you can deliver it over there so if you see that uh, it is actually the beef portal is uh, loaded so this is a damage page uh, if you see that it's a something demo normal but let me go to the beef portal and see what has happened so if you see that after clicking this one uh, it's basically uh, it have the pages just you see the connection is established here okay it's very simple so just a simple click you once a user is clicked on it is goes so now let me go to here and you can see that there are law commands and executions are there so what i'll do is let me simple thing i'm just going to send an alert creating a dialog box and i'm say is i have hacked your phone so i'm just simple come just dialog box i'm just going to create and let me execute it so if you see that the message will see it is actually pop upping over there see it is comes from the output i have hacked your phones that is what thing so it's simple right and i can do a lot over there even i can redirect to the thing so for example let me clear all this one uh, let me go to the again command and let me see social engineering uh probably if i want to uh send a facebook uh, related something else let me see so let me go to that and just send a 
uh, fake google phishing links so i'm just going to execute and if you see that this will be a command will be going and executing on the portal so see if that it is actually redirectment if i just dropped any password here for example this is an old website is looking you can go and uh, basically you can download the new uh, google page and you can modify it here so username i'm just giving is test uh, and the password is test i'm just giving on it so sign in and once it is there so probably you can see that information will be there so that is see uh, test password is there so this is how i can uh, do it over there so this is how i can keep doing on it refresh again this was but problem here is once i click this this connection will not be again it will be goes to the offline so you need to be more cautious again uh, it's if you say the download browser is again come back to the offline so you have to be st specific on what you are doing over there so let me again try to uh, open the url again one more time now i got the control so let me again go to the commands uh, so you can you can you can basically you can uh, you can by using this one right so uh, you can redirect to the some way fake uh, notifications one so for example flash updates you can drop it over there and uh, in this flash update you can upload uh, any other payloads you want over the like apk something else you can download it you can put it over there when you execute this will direct you a flash update in the uh, phone and when the user is thinks that it is something like a update is looking for a flash or something as when he clicks over there automatically apk will install and it goes over there and then you can rat can be installed or even you can use anything technologies and ideas becomes out there so this is something as education purpose so boom i have uh, you can hack and draw just with the links and everything and from the after the link is then you can eject uh, malicious payloads and everything you can do it over there so let me eject uh, execute this code uh, so again it is using for the pair load URLI. so what i'll just doing is something like i'm just giving a small local host uh, i'm not just for a test purpose i'm just giving on it so if you are you can use anything whatever you wanted uh, so local host i'm just putting payload dot apk just test one i don't have anything to to execute and show how what is happening in the android i'm just doing on it so this is something education you can do it accordingly so in a minute you will see that a pop-up will be occurring on uh, in the android devices so let me execute so you can do it or when other one is the last option i want to do is for example if you want to redirect uh, to the some other sites here so you can uh, redirect with the browser by using this framework you can click the redirect process so what are the things you want to do it over there so in my case i'm just want to redirect to my website Weber academy uh, dot in so just imagine once you what once you redirect to this website uh, it will not again you the connection will be lost it will go to the offline over there so this is something like understanding maybe you can as an ethical hacker you can de during your penetration you can see that it can be redirect to the malicious website and see whether drowned in download and those things at us you can do it over there and see it over there so let me execute and see what is happening it so what will happen is now with the page is actually loading you see it is actually redirect to my website so this is the website I actually i'm hosted and you can take a look on it so this is the so this is how the android can be hacked in a simple way like using a link and all these factors will be there Thank you all for joining me today in this exciting session. I hope you found the content information and useful. If you enjoy this video, please consider giving like to this video and also share your feedback in the comment below. Your feedback is essential for shaping the future of this channel. Ensure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on upcoming chapters videos. Also free to share this video with other who might find it interesting if you have any questions or need further clarification about anything show in this video don't hesitate to reach out to me via discord i'll be the link you can find the link in the description lastly a big thank you to all my subscriber your encouragement keeps me motivated to create more valuable content for you stay safe stay curious see you soon with another interesting chapter bye for now take care